hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll see how to perform an in place upgrade for the windows servers running in azure so before we begin an in place upgrade let us consider the following options for the upgrade so if you want to upgrade 2016 then we need a minimum 2012 or 2012 or 2 version and uh, to upgrade to the 2019 version we need at least 2012 r2 or windows server 2016 and uh, to upgrade to the 2022 then we need uh, 2016 or 2019 version then only we can upgrade the server to the 2022 version and uh, windows server 2008 r2 data center and uh, 2008 r2 standard these are not supported for the in place upgrade and uh, we need to upgrade vm to the volume license for the kms server activation and uh, in case if the hardware is not you know supported or if we are having any disk space issue then we need to fix that before we start the in place upgrade and uh, before we start the in place upgrade it is recommended to create a snapshot of the operating system and then proceed further for the in place upgrade so uh, we will be creating the upgrade media disk for the relevant uh, you know the upgrade platform that we want and based on that it will be created and uh, we will be using that upgrade media disk to migrate the server and uh, we will be using the partial script to create the disk and then we will be attaching it to the server okay so once we created the disk we will attach that media to the virtual machine and then we will install that in place upgrade so either we can run the setup.exe or we can run this command as well from the powershell and uh, once the upgrade is success then we can delete the snapshot and uh, we can also delete the upgrade media disk that we have created and uh, enable any antivirus anti-spyware or firewall software that may have been disabled at the start of the upgrade process and in case if the upgrade was failed then we can you know create a disk from the snapshot and then we can swap the os disk so now let us see the demo how we can do the in place upgrade okay so i have logged into the azure portal and uh, I go to the virtual machines so i have the windows server 2012 r2 and uh, this is gen 1 virtual machine so you can see it here okay looks like this is windows server 2012 so uh, microsoft uh, recommend uh, you know deploy a new version and uh, then do the upgrade instead of doing the in place upgrade for 2012 server so what we are going to do we will deploy a new windows server 2012 r2 and then perform the in place upgrade to the 2019 version okay so i have deployed a 2012 r2 data center version and this is running in gen 1 and architecture is x64 so now i'm going to rdp into this virtual machine okay so i have logged into the windows server 2012 r2 virtual machine which is running in the east us region
Okay, I'm just opening the PowerShell ISC. Let me just uh, copy this PowerShell command. Let me connect to the subscription. Okay, so since AZ modules not installed uh, in this VM, we are not able to use the AZ command. And also, we need at least uh, the PowerShell version 5.1 to install that uh, AZ modules or 7 or higher version. So this VM doesn't have, it has only 4 version. So I have deployed, uh, you know, another virtual machine that is running with uh, 2022 and uh, it has uh, 5.1 the PowerShell version and uh, I was able to install the Azure you know module to use the AZ command and uh, now let me execute that PowerShell script to create the media okay so this is the subscription that I am going to use and uh, it will ask you to sign into that subscription. Okay, I have just uh, stopped that uh, IE enhancement and just rerunning it. Okay, let me try to use the edge instead of uh, Internet Explorer. So let me just uh, run it again. Okay, so let me log into it. Okay, so I was able to log into the subscription and uh, then let me execute the remaining command. So here uh, we will be creating Windows Server Upgrades resource group, so which will be created newly and uh, location will be East US and uh, here the disk name we will, you know, create with this name and uh, the SKU will be Server 2019 Upgrade. Okay, so uh, next it will create the disk. So let me execute the remaining script. So let's wait for this to be completed. Okay, so this is completed. Let me go to the Azure portal. and go to the resource group okay i can see the windows server upgrades resource group created and uh, i can see the windows server 2019 upgrade disk also created so we will be using this upgrade media disk to perform the in place upgrade okay so before we start let's just uh, take the snapshot so this is the windows server 2012 r2 i have installed a few applications for example i have installed uh, putty and uh, chrome browser and i have also created some you know uh, data like sample test files just to make sure after the in-place upgrade, we should be able to access the previous data and application properly. And uh, here you can see, I have only the uh, C partition 
and uh, this is the temporary storage okay so now let me go to the portal and uh, take the snapshot so this is server 2012 r2 and uh, going to the disk Okay, I'll just create a snapshot. Okay, let's wait for the snapshot to be created and then we will execute the in place upgrade. So before that we need to attach the upgrade media to the VM. Okay, so the snapshot is completed. Let me go to the server. Okay, so under data disk attach existing disk and here you can select windows server 2019 upgrade disk and click on save okay now let me go to the server and now we can see the upgrade disk here and we can just open this and we can just run this setup.exe okay here i'm going to disable the updates and click next Okay, so it will take some time to complete this upgrade and once this is success, then it will reboot the uh, server and then we can see the new operating system on it. So uh, the current one, what we are running is 2012 R2 data center. So we will be migrating into 2019 data center. Let me choose with the desktop experience. Okay, accept license terms and uh, here we need to choose to keep personal files and apps if we choose nothing then everything will be deleted okay now it is ready to install let me just go ahead and install it Okay, now it's installing Windows Server 2019 and uh, then our PC will restart. Once this is completed, then we can see it on the portal. It will be migrated to the 2019 version. Okay, so the in-place migration has been completed and uh, it is restarted as well. Let me just log into the server. Okay, it's still, uh, you know, working on updates. As we can see under boot diagnostics, under screenshot, we can see the, you know, status here. So let's wait for this to be completed. Okay, so from the screenshot, we can see this is completed. Let me connect to the virtual machine. Okay, so I have logged into the virtual machine and uh, here you can see this is in 2019 version and the application that we have installed i can still see it there and the data is well preserved let me go to the portal and uh, here you can see the operating system which is windows server 2019 data center and uh, the VM generation V1.
okay so in case if you ran into any issues uh, during the migration you can you know convert the snapshot into a disk and then you can swap the os disk so then it will revert back to the older 2012 or to version of the os okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next thank you